guys. Um, hi. So today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a microwave mug brownie in about 60 to 80 seconds. Seems like fun. So I've got, I've already got my dry ingredients. It is four tablespoons of sugar, granulated sugar, four tablespoons of flour, and two tablespoons of cocoa. So I've already went ahead and mixed all my dry ingredients, but I've got my flour, my sugar, and my cocoa. Now you wanna make sure the cocoa is unsweetened. Cause you know, whatever. Now, you can use a little bit of salt. I, it usually calls for about a dash of salt. Sometimes I put mine in, sometimes I don't. It's whatever. It's basically optional. Okay. So, that's just for dry ingredients. Now I've already gone ahead and mixed all mine in a teacup. Looks a little bit like hot cocoa, basically. So, um, I'm going to set that down, and now I'm going to start with my liquids. So, I've got two tablespoons of butter in a measuring cup, and I'm going to melt that. So, I'm putting that in for about 30 seconds. All right. Now, next, you want two tablespoons of water. So, let me get that for one second. So once the butter's melted, I've got my water. I'm just going to measure that into the measuring cup. Ooh, my melted butter. Okay, now I'm going to take two tablespoons of water. Doesn't really matter what the temperature is. It's just water. All right, now... A, it calls for a quarter teaspoon of vanilla, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to try it with imitation coconut. I, uh, I want to see how that'll work out. I want to see if it'll taste, like, I love coconut. I love coconut. And I want to see if it'll, uh, if it'll do anything. So I've got my quarter teaspoon. I'm just going to put that in my measuring cup. There we go. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is very carefully, very carefully, pour in <coughs> the liquid ingredients into my mug. I'll put that down so you can see that. So just a little bit by little bit, just going to pour it in and mix it in a little bit. I'm using a knife just because I hate using spoons. Pour in a little bit more. Now, this is eggless. So, <laughs> I tried one recipe and it had had egg in it. And it was a microwave brownie. But, um, yeah, it didn't work out too well. It was just, the consistency, the consistency was terrible. Because uh, eggs in the microwave, they don't work out too well. So, I'm going to mix this together until it's a nice smooth consistency. All right. I'm gonna take as much of the stuff off as I can. I'm gonna try not to get it on the sides just so it doesn't rise up and pour out of the, out of the cup. I'm going to taste it. That tastes really good. Okay, I'm going to put this, the teacup, with here. It looks really cool, actually. It looks super awesome. I'm going to put that in the microwave for 60 to 80 seconds. So I'll start with about 70 seconds. And we'll see how it goes from there. Now, while I'm doing that, I'm just going to clean up my mess a little bit. 
because I made a little bit of a mess. Two seconds. <laughs> While well, we're waiting for that, Did you guys meet my puppy dog. This is Tyler. They uh, they say he is a Pomeranian and Terrier mix, but uh, I he's got curly hair, which Pomeranians do not have curly hair. I can't find a Terrier that looks anything like him. He's like 15 pounds. I think he's a Pomeranian and a Border Collie, to be honest. Or not a Pomeranian, sorry, a Toy Poodle and a Border Collie, to be honest. All right. Now we're gonna check this. It's all filled like a like a cake. Now check that with a toothpick. Perfect, comes out clean. Now, wait till that cools. <laughs> I uh, I've waited quite a yeah I've I've waited not not quite long enough and it's hot. <laughs> So, anyways, Tyler, we rescued him. He was a stray. Um, the place that they got, the place we got him at, they got him from the streets. Like, he was just a stray or whatever. So they don't really know much about him, but he's literally the sweetest thing in the world. We've got another dog. Her name's Belle. I'm going to go get Belle. Sit, Belle. Sit. Sit. You're not being very obedient. Belle! Hey! Come here. Come here, Belle. Okay. Sit. 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 Good girl. So this, this monster, this is Belle. She is a boxer, pit bull, sharpe. And she is the sweetest thing in the world. She's my baby. She's my baby. But, um, oh yeah, go lay down. But she was also, we got her from the same pound as we got him. I can't say pound. But the same place we got Tyler. Belle's been around for a little bit longer than Tyler has, but Tyler's older. So, uh, they know a little, little bit about Belle. They know that she was, um, her and her brothers and sisters were dropped off. They were in, um, I want to say, like, Tennessee or something. Some state that was, like, far away from New York. Not New York. <laughs> but, um, so they were they were dropped off, and a really, really rich old man, he came and took them and gave them to a pound, basically, who then sold them to this place. And they're called Helping Hounds. They're, um, if you're anywhere near the Syracuse area, they are right next to the Shopping Town Mall. So, definitely, they're not sponsoring me or anything, but, like, I will definitely suggest you go there if you want to rescue a dog. They're very, very good. All right. Um, I'm going to check my brownie. I don't know. It's still not cool enough. Ugh! So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some, I'm going to put it in the fridge for one second. I'm going to put it in the fridge, and then after, I'm going to dress it. Whipped cream and all that kind of stuff. All right. So, like I was saying, helping hounds near Syracuse, New York, they're, they're incredible. They really are. They're pretty incredible. Um... They treat these dogs with so much respect, and 
They're all so sweet. They're all so sweet. Come here, Tyler. Come here, Tyler. We just got Tyler a few months ago. He, uh, he's a new addition to the family, but he's, he's fit right in. Right, Tyler? You fit right in. <laughs> what, Belle? You're getting all jealous, aren't you? All right. This. This is Belle. This is Belle. She's a sweetheart. Sit, Bubble. Sit. Sit. Sit on your butt. Sit on your butt. Sit on your butt. <laughs> this is her. Oh, hers is sweetie. But anyways. Oh. Back to the talk about brownies. I um I wanted a recipe. I was I got a really bad sweet tooth one day. And I wanted a recipe for a brownie, but something that I didn't have to bake. And it was only like a single serving. So I looked up on Google and I found this recipe at thepinjunkie.com. And apparently it's it's a blog. And you should go there. There's a lot of really cool stuff. But um, it's called thepinjunkie.com. And I found that, and I'm like, oh, that's so cool. I'll, you know, try it. And if you, the one thing you have to be careful about with this recipe is that you have to measure everything perfectly. You have to scrape off, um, you know, the excess with the back of a knife and all that kind of stuff, like you're taught in home ec. Um, or else, if you add a little bit too much flour, it comes out really cakey and pretty yucky. But, um, it's, it's very, very good. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. <sighs> I can't wait for it to be cooled. I'm gonna go check on that. I'm really impatient, guys. I'm impatient. I think that's good enough. Alright, so what I'm doing right now is I'm getting all my dressings. I say dressings like, oh, ranch dressing, but no. I'm not meaning like ranch dressing or anything like that, but meaning caramel. And I'm putting up, oh, almost forgot my whipped cream. So I've got whipped cream, I've got caramel sauce, and I've got this vanilla syrup, I guess. It's for basically like decorating and stuff, but it's it's really good. It's really good on things. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my whipped cream. <laughs> take my caramel sauce. And then I'll take my vanilla sauce, I guess. I I guess I don't really know how to describe this. It's more of an icing, but not an icing. I, I don't know. But it's Smucker's Plate Scrapers. I guess it's for, like, plate decorating and whatever. But why is this not coming out? Ah, that bothers me. Okay. Oh. oh my goodness gracious, I'm coming up with so many problems today. <laughs> I just gotta clean that out. Cool, we're back. Back in business? I think. Yes, no, maybe so. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways. So. Uh -huh. mm, so good. Now, I'm going to try my taste test. You 
can see my beautiful creation. Ooh, it's coming off. <laughs> All right, let's try it. See how well we made this brownie. Mm. Guys, that is so good. Holy crap. Mm. It's really, really moist. Holy cow. But it's so good. Oh my goodness gracious. Anyways, I'm going to leave myself to finish up this. I really, really, really hope you enjoyed. Um, if you want, you can check out my other videos. I uh, have two videos, actually. This is my only third video, but I have two other videos of me signing in American Sign Language songs. So if you're into that kind of stuff, if you're into, like, kind of multicultural stuff, I guess, um, make sure to check those out. I have a passion for sign language, and I would love it if I could get some comments, critiques, whatever. And if you like this, comment and, you know, tell me, hey, make some more how to make things videos, because I know how to make a lot of things. All right. How be eating this, and you have fun eating yours. Bye.